This proposed change might help developer and users immensely on Fedora Linux. Let's talk about the Anaconda web UI preview image and what changes have been proposed. Basically, basically if we go down to the detailed description of this is that a new web GUI has been made to support simple installation of the Fedora and is potentially scheduled to at least be released in a beta esque way in Fedora 37 if things go according to plan. What's nice about it is it has a flexible wizard layout, responsive pattern fly components, new style built-in help, and local and remote access to the web GUI. So this is fantastic. One of the things I'm most interested in is this local and remote access to the web GUI. I would love to try this out. Could you imagine having somebody installing Fedora on their computer and then you can log in remotely to help them install or guide them through these types of things. That would be a game changer, at least for me in my production environments in order to help people install and troubleshoot the install process remotely. That's where a lot of people get into trouble, at least when I'm working with them directly is during that install process. Maybe they don't know some terms or don't understand something quite right. Well, it would be fantastic to be able to remotely help them, but that's not all. There's also benefits to Fedora as they are lined out below. Let's check some of those out before we do. Smash that like button for new Linux news, tips and tricks, programming videos, and the like. Subscribe below. Let's talk about the benefit to Fedora. It says here with the proposed change, the Anaconda web UI will have a modern responsive user interface based on well-known and widely used toolkit pattern fly and backed by proven cockpit tooling. The screen layout is based on the latest UX design guidelines as well as usability testing in a new interface and extensive mock-up work. This just means they're getting up to the latest and greatest as far as their graphical user interfaces are, as far as their graphics user interface and experience goes so that everything's more cohesive. There are improvements in developer experience as well due to more modern and more mainstream UI technology chosen and powerful cockpit testing tools. So basically you get better testing tools as well as a better framework to work with, making the developer's life a little easier. The stateless property of the web UI allows almost live coding style UI development, which is always something to be excited about because notoriously in the past, it's been hard to produce graphical user interfaces because they're cumbersome. They require a lot of code, a lot of review, a lot of testing and only a small amount of people are able to do it with modern frameworks. It's much easier to see those changes in the live kind of iterating over your design, making it easier to test, faster to produce, and overall just an easier process for the developer. This should make it easier to work on, as they say, Anaconda Web UI for not only the Anaconda team, add-on developer, but for interested contributors. So again, make their lives easier by getting other people who are capable of actually designing things for the installer. I'm sure they're gonna be implementing this more across their UI interfaces as well. It's probably not just gonna stop here at the installer, but this is a great place to start. Remote web UI access should also provide much better experience for slow and inefficient VNC-based remote GUI installation support. Due to no need for local rendering, remotely driven GUI installations on constrained hardware with minimal installation images should become possible. That just means on non-powerful machines, you can simply get away from using VNC, a type of a remote protocol in order to actually get in and help somebody install. Instead, now these remote installations can be done on machines that are much more minimal in power, which is fantastic. Again, you might not have access to one of your powerhouse machines when you're remote somewhere and someone needs help. So again, this is only a preview image, but they're ready to start testing. And here's exactly how to test. You can download the Anaconda Web UI preview image and boot into a VM hardware that contains no import data. Install using the Web UI locally and or use the Web UI remotely. The installed OS should be functional, but it's testing 
or any issues with it are currently out of the scope of the Anaconda Web UI preview image. And you can also provide feedback use to the Anaconda team through the proper channels. I'll post a link in the description below so you can check this out for yourself. If you're interested in this, I do want to know your thoughts on whether or not other distributions should be following this mentality. Make sure to subscribe below. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.